When the sun's out and everyone's on holiday, it's a great time to head off to the seaside, pulling on that new swimsuit you bought for just such an outing, and enjoying a relaxing time in the sea as the waves lap over and around you. Grab your scuba gear and flippers and explore a little, and take a look at those friendly, colorful fish swimming beneath you. After all, it's not like there are any snakes in the sea, right? Today, we bring you the 10 most venomous sea snakes in the world, including one that is believed to be the most venomous snake in the world, either on land or in sea, where one drop of venom is thought to be enough to kill 1,800 people. But before we start, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss our future videos. Okay, so let's start with the first sea snake on our list, the turtle-headed sea snake. Commonly found in shallow coral reef areas of northern Australia and the Philippines, the turtle-headed sea snake is one of the more popular species of true sea-living snakes you can find. Named due to the fact that it has a head that is very similar to a turtle's, this sea snake is a little more unusual from others in that it doesn't hunt for live fish, rather, it prefers fish eggs. This means that whilst it has fangs and can still deliver a toxic bite, its venom is significantly less powerful than most other sea snake species. That said, it does tend to like to congregate in large groups of other snakes, so stay away from that coral reef next time you're diving. At number 9 is the Olive Sea Snake. One of the true sea snakes, the Olive Sea Snake spends its entire life at sea and never has to venture onto land. Growing up to 2 meters in length, this is certainly one of the longest sea snakes you'll find in the ocean. The olive sea snake isn't one of the more populous snakes though, and you'll only find them swimming around the coastal waters of northern Australia, and only then at night. Unlike many other sea snakes, the olive is naturally curious and will actively swim up to divers. That being said, they tend not to be overly aggressive, which is a good thing as they have a proven deadly bite. Number 8 on our list is the viperine sea snake. Like the others on this list so far, the viperine is also from the same family of true sea snakes, in that it never comes back onto dry land. It can spend its entire life in the water. As it is a reptile, you'll find the viperine in warm waters around the Persian Gulf, India, and parts of southern China, where it will actively hunt flathead fish and eels. Although not one of the largest sea snakes you can find, it is venomous, though we're unsure quite how toxic its venom is, as there are no records of any human fatalities, yet. Moving on to number 7, the Stokes Sea Snake. This species can be found in similar areas to our previous species of sea snake, the viperine. However, the Stokes Sea Snake is quite at home in deeper waters and doesn't need to stay in the shallower coral reef areas that the other snakes do. In fact, it's not uncommon to literally see thousands of these snakes all drifting along together in one group, generally during the mating season. It's also known to pursue swimmers and divers, but it's believed that this is more out of curiosity rather than aggression. But get bitten by the Stokes snake and you're going to be in a bad way, as these guys have a powerful neurotoxin venom that is decidedly deadly. Okay, so to number 6, the yellow-bellied sea snake. Easily distinguishable by its yellow belly, this snake is thought to be the most common of all sea snakes in the world. As a cold-blooded reptile, snakes need a fair amount of warmth in order to survive, which normally means any snake that lives in the water will do so in tropical areas. However, the yellow-bellied sea snake has been found as far afield as New Zealand and even the North Atlantic, showing just how resilient these guys can be. They're not averse to living and hunting on their own, but just like the Stokes sea snake, you shouldn't be surprised to see thousands all drifting together on the surface of the sea, waiting for unsuspecting fish to come along and swim underneath of them in the belief that the snakes are actually drifting seaweed and offer protection and shelter. They're also highly venomous, with a toxin similar to that of the tiger snake. Number 5 is the Dubois sea snake. Found natively in and around the seas of northern Australia and Indonesia, the Dubois sea snake is another that is quite at home in the sea and has no need to venture back to land. They're one of the larger species of sea snakes and can grow up to 1.75 meters in length. They can also get cranky fairly quickly, so if you do come across one, try not to annoy it. When they bite, they will inject a neurotoxin that will disable the victim and cause death by suffocation. In cases where they have bitten humans, it's not always noticeable as they have very small fangs, and so the victim is unaware of being bitten until it is sometimes too late. At 4 is the Horned Sea Snake. As the name would suggest, this is the only sea snake with any form of horn-like spines on its head. As with most sea snakes, you're going to find these guys anywhere along the western Pacific with warm tropical waters. It's a snake that prefers shallow waters where it can find its preferred prey, the goby. The horned sea snake will normally hunt at night, but you may find small groups congregating around rocky outcrops, which if you're into surfing, may be something you need to be aware of. 
As part of the cobra family, the horned sea snake is highly venomous and any bite could be fatal to a human if not treated with antivenom quickly. At number 3 is the banded sea crate. This is the first and only crate on our list. What it means is that where the other sea snakes we've highlighted are happy to spend their entire lives in the water, the crate still needs to come out onto dry land to rest. This can mean that interactions with humans are far more common, which can be problematic as the banded sea crate is one of the most venomous creatures known to mankind. It has a venom stated to be 10 times more potent than a rattlesnake's, with the ability to produce and to inject far more than would be necessary to kill a human. Whilst it is incredibly dangerous, it is quite a placid snake and would prefer to move away from human interactions rather than strike out. Number 2 is the Beaked Sea Snake. Get bitten by one of these guys and you'd better hope you have an antivenom with you. The Beaked Sea Snake hits its prey with a mix of myotoxin and neurotoxin that are designed to stop breathing and cause muscle failure, meaning it can swallow its prey quickly and efficiently once it's been successfully targeted. Unfortunately, the beaked sea snake is responsible for most of the bites and indeed fatalities to humans, which when you consider the venom these guys inject is up to 8 times more powerful than a king cobra and enough to kill 5 people in one go is no real surprise. Thankfully, they're not the most common sea snake and tend to stay in warmer waters of the Indian Ocean, around Indonesia and northern Australia. That said, they prefer shallow water and like to wait around sandy or muddy sea floors of about 30 meters maximum in depth. So, at number 1 is the Belcher Sea Snake. With a venom that is said to be 100 times more deadly than any other snake, the Belcher Sea Snake is rightly our number one most venomous sea snake in the world. To give you a better idea of just how powerful its venom can be, Cobra Venom is potent enough to kill more than 150 people in less than half an hour. This guy can strike down more than 10 times as many people at the same time. Thankfully, it is also one of the most placid snakes you are ever likely to come across and will need severe provocation before striking. When people are bitten, it's generally by accident, such as fishermen not noticing that they have one in their net, which means most of us should still be okay the next time we visit the beach, probably. So there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on our next one.